Hi, I'm Jamal Chandler with SIBO Global Markets, and this is Volatility 411 for Thursday, July 16th. Bank earnings have been the stories of the week with the uh, loan loss provisions or the amount of bad loans that they're expected to be written off has been a big narrative for them. Bank of America and Morgan Stanley both reported earnings to varying degrees of success today. Also, we've been seeing a rotation out of tech this week as the NASDAQ is down 2.7% for throughout this week, while the SP 500 is up half a percent. U.S. jobless claims this morning totaled 1.3 million for the week ending July 11th. Now that's down about 10,000 from the week prior. And then continuing claims or the amount of people filing for uh, continuing unemployment benefits declined from around 20 million to about 17.3 million. That's the lowest we've seen since April. The S&P 500 index is hovering around that 3,200 level with uh, July equity options expiration descending upon us. And the VIX index has a reading of around 28 as I sit here. VIX futures, uh, July VIX futures are trading 28 and a half while the August futures are trading 3060 and the September futures are trading 31 and a quarter with the October futures trading 3330. The VIX futures curve goes out to March 2021 now with the, um, the those futures trading 30 spot 75. In the options space, we've seen VIX option call buyers to the upside. Uh, we saw a August 85 call purchased for 30 cents on 13,000 contracts while those August futures were trading 30 spot 30. And then we also saw the October par or October 100 strike calls purchased for 60 cents on 9,100 contracts while those October futures were trading 3310. So we're keeping an eye on July options expiration, keeping an eye on earnings, keeping an eye on virus cases, particularly in Florida, and of course, keeping an eye on any potential vaccines. That's all for Volatility 411. Thanks for watching. Have a great trading day.